Well, that was an interesting morning. I was on the radio. Not just the radio, on three radio stations in southeast Manitoba. If you found out about me through that, welcome to the vlog. The vlogs are one day behind, so I filmed this today. I edit it all up tomorrow in my free time. And then I schedule it to upload and release the next day after that at 4 a.m. Central Time. So welcome to all the new people. My people. My local people. So if you have no idea what I was talking about, I was on the three radio stations in southeast Manitoba today. It was a lot of fun. Had about a, I don't know, three, four, five minute interview with them. And uh, got to talk about Trucker Appreciation Week a little bit, which just wrapped up. And I'm still waking up. I'm kind of pumped that I got to be on the radio with him and I can't talk straight. So let me get my head together and we'll continue the vlog. Sergeant, you're all wet. Where'd you get all wet, man? Where'd you get all wet? I was outside, man, running around in the grass. The grass is wet, man. I'm sorry. Sorry, man. I'll go down here. That's right. You shouldn't actually be on my seat when you're wet. That was actually quite rude. Just saying. Just saying. Sorry, man. And the original star of the show. I thought you were going to forget me, man. Diesel! He's a weasel named Diesel. You want to say hi to everybody? Say hi to all the new people. Uh, hey guys, I'm a little shy in the morning. Are you happy to see them? You're all wet too. Look at you, you're running around in the grass this morning. Good boy. He's camera shy. He said, why are you pointing that thing in my face, man? Why are you doing that? Stop it. Stop it. He is Diesel, he is four years old. I've had him in the truck with me since he was 10 weeks old. And Sergeant is nine months old. He's still learning. Diesel, can you move, please? I have to sit here. Oh, I'm just gonna sit down anyway. Yeah, I almost sat on me, man. Watch it. Of course, Sergeant's got to be up here right away then. Okay, so I just moved my clips from last night onto my laptop. I'm gonna worry about editing that later, sometime during my break. Right now, I need to eat breakfast and get going. I just realized something. I don't have any bowls left. I use disposable bowls while I'm on the road because they're just the easiest to keep up with. And I always have oatmeal in the morning. No oatmeal. No bowl, no oatmeal. Well, good thing we're at a rest stop. We're at an on route near Guelph, Ontario. I'm going to run inside and get me a Timmy's breakfast. All right, here we go. Seatbelt is buckled. Pre-trip is done. Truck is safe to drive in gear, release all the brakes, lock the doors, proceed to put foot on pedal, gas pedal, there we go, all right, here we go. down to Arthur, Illinois. Draw 10 kilometers. And get onto this freeway. This is how every day starts off for me. I love this part of the day. We've got a whole day ahead of us. So with the exchange rate as bad as it is between Canada and the United States, I decided to fuel in Canada this time, just because in the long run, it's cheaper right now. Usually it's cheaper to fuel in the States, but right now it's either the same or a little cheaper to fuel up here. So we're fueling here in Wyoming, Ontario, before heading across into Port Huron, Michigan, on our way down to Illinois, USA. And that was about half tank or so. So we're at the Blue Water Bridge in Sarnia, Ontario, and it's going to get us through 
to the United States, to Port Huron, Michigan. This pickup truck is not supposed to be in this lane. It is for semis only, but hey, you want to dream, dream big. Go ahead. So it will cost $18.75 Canadian to get across here, or $16.25 American. And it's, a, it's an easier crossing than Detroit, because Detroit is so busy. So I like to cross here uh, just for, usually it's quicker, but today it looks like it's going to be quite busy. It is the weekend, so... Officially approved and safely in the United States of America. How does it make you feel, everybody? You're all in the States, all of you with me. And you didn't even need a passport, you just came in my truck. All 47,000 of you on the internet. <laughs> I'm sneaky like that. I shouldn't even joke about that kind of stuff. <laughs> it's going to get me in trouble. Just arriving here at the Woodbury Rest Area in Michigan. First rest stop of the day. And I'm hungry. Stop right here. This is my spot right here. It's got my name on it. You see it right there? You don't see it? Oh, I see it. I love how these rest areas are just so beautiful in the States. Like it's not only a rest area, it's also a park. Like they got these nice little trail systems going on around here. Picnic tables. Beautiful mowed lawn. It's lighted, you can see there's a little street light right there, so at night it's not so creepy. They got the truck parking on this side. Four wheeler or car parking on that side. I don't know why they segregate us, but obviously it's because these guys are a lot bigger. What I've noticed a lot in Michigan here already is that, you know, you can't really see it here, but I could see it on the way down here, that the leaves are starting to change color. I've been, seen pictures, uh, Shelly Gaw in Edmonton has sent me pictures from Alberta, and the leaves are definitely starting to change color there already. How about where you're from? Are the leaves changing color where you're from? Tweet me some pictures and Show me some autumn colored leaves and let me know where you are. And of course, you can always find my social media and all my links and whatnot down below in the description of every video. There's a few ways to support me down below there as well if you enjoy what I do. Uh, there's a mailing address, my Facebook, Twitter, Instagram. You can find me on Snapchat as well, trucker underscore Josh. You can follow me all over the web. I'm everywhere. I'm everywhere. It's every rest area has modern washrooms in the States. Unlike in Canada where it's hit and miss, some of them are like outhouse style. You know, they're enclosed and they look like they might have running water, but nay nay, that's just to fool you. There's just a hole in the ground. In the States, they have nice rest, are rest areas with running water, toilets, and always well maintained. Like, there's somebody who comes here and stays here most times. At most rest areas, they have like security patrolled. And if they don't, it's usually a pretty good area anyways. I've never had any problems at a rest area, except for one in Georgia. I had a CB radio antenna stolen off my truck in the middle of the night once. Yeah. Diesel was busy sleeping on the floor. Some guard dog he is. Hence, Sergeant. <laughs> Look at him. On guard. On guard, or he's just actually, no, he's checking himself out in the mirror maybe. Does that window taste good, man? 
Does that window taste good? <laughs> what are you doing? One lonely little van on the truck side that missed the sign, cars and four-wheelers without trailers on the other side. This away. Okay. Right in here, I'm guessing. Oh boy, it's full. Oh dear. I just needed a bathroom break. Hopefully, I can get around these guys so I can just get a parking spot. Getting into that part of the country where it's very congested. Lots of people everywhere means lots of trucks everywhere. It's truck after truck after truck after truck is coming in. I guess it's that time of day where people are starting to get ready to go to sleep and whatnot, looking for a place to park for the night. Not to me. So we're here in Benton Harbor, Michigan. And we've driven uh, a little ways over halfway. We're about two thirds of the way down to Illinois where we're gonna probably spend the night. I might have like an hour to drive after I pick up my other trailer. I mean, we'll see. But it'll pretty much take up the full day just to get down there. And then I'll switch trailers and get ready to head back home tomorrow. I won't make it home tomorrow either way, even if I do drive an extra hour tonight. So no real point in pushing myself if I don't have to. We're gonna drive a full day tomorrow and then just a partial day, a few hours on Sunday the next day. But I always like to welcome the new people to the vlogs. This is my life. This is what I do. This is home to me. This truck right here is my house. There's my bed up there. My family down here. Our living space. Our workspace and everything. Home is where I park it. I guess I should be a little more specific. I don't actually live live in my truck. I do have a house back home. The majority of you know that. Just in case you're thinking, he lives in his truck? Well, yes, I live in here, but I, I do have a house back home. There have been some new developments in the climate. It's a little moist outside. And you got God taking pictures all over the place. When I was a kid, someone told me that once. Now when lightning strikes, you gotta smile, because God's taking pictures of you. <laughs> what? Makes sense, right? You never know. You never know. Well, that escalated quickly. We're in a full pour downpour. You may call it a cloud burst. I don't know what you want to say, but it's scared the daylights out of all the cars on the road that we've come to a stop. customer down here in Arthur, Illinois, and I'm supposed to drop my trailer here, but I'm not sure where to leave the paperwork. So I'm almost out of hours anyways. I only have one hour left and it doesn't help anything because I can't get home tomorrow anyway. So I'm just going to sleep right here. 
There's a couple of other drivers here sleeping as well. I'm gonna wake up in the morning, figure out where to leave the paperwork, drop this trailer. There's an empty one across the yard that I'm gonna take up to Waterloo, Iowa. And then I'm gonna switch trailers in Waterloo, Iowa. And that new trailer over there is taking me home. And I should be home day after tomorrow. I got some things I want to do at home. Looking forward to it. So tune in tomorrow, guys, 4 a.m. Central Time. Anytime after that, tomorrow's vlog will be live. Continuation of this journal that is my life, my daily life. If you want to see more of what I've been up to in the past, links are down below. If you want to support us on our channel, links are down below. If there, you want to follow us on Twitter, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, links are down below. I think you get the rhythm here. Everything's down below in the description. Just hit that show more button or the down arrow. Long list of stuff there for you. Go check it out. I'll see you tomorrow.